used to have an elevated Second Avenue that was taken down in 1940 and was never rebuilt. So the east side of Manhattan has never been served well by public transport. When I first got elected in 1992, one of my goals was to build the Second Avenue subway. I live and work on the east side. I know how crowded it is. I used to start every staff meeting. What are we gonna do to build the Second Avenue subway? But the most difficult part was getting it started because no one believed that it could happen. The success or failure of any city is the ability of its people to get to and from work, to and from recreation areas. The Second Avenue subway will be a linchpin towards that goal. Well, mass transit is one of the hallmarks of New York City's identity. Without mass transit, we're not New York. People want to live where the transportation is convenient and comfortable and modern and up-to-date, and that's what the MTA is going to provide to the people who want to live and work on the Upper East Side. And having a new subway uh, along 2nd Avenue is absolutely the right thing to do in terms of the environment. And when you, again, get people out of trucks, out of cars, out of vehicles, then you have a cleaner city, a healthier city. The role I played in making the, uh, the 2nd Avenue subway more than a vision, but a reality, began in 1995 when the Mesa study first was brought to the community board, the Mesa meeting, and there were all kinds of op opportunities that were presented, light rail, other kinds of bus service, but the real solution had to be a subway, a subway that can, can, can run tens of thousands of people every hour. My role was to help make sure that it progressed, to help make sure that the businesses on the corridor survived the construction, and that the residents who lived along 2nd Avenue uh, were going to be around to see the benefits of being able to enjoy a, a subway line. And we had, on the community board worked with the MTA, worked with the city agencies, worked with the elected officials to see that this became a reality through the funding, through Carol Maloney, through the assembly, through the state senate, and down to the local city council members. And we worked very closely with them over the years to see that it happened and it's happening. For the 2nd Avenue subway, I have secured 1.35 billion in federal funds. This has been matched by state funds for a total of 4.5 billion. And it will pay dividends many times more in employment, in infrastructure, in efficiency. As a legislator in Albany, it's about funding. Uh, the continuation of the Second Avenue subway is dependent upon the MTA's capital plan. And it's our job, especially as members uh, who represent the city of New York, to make the case why scarce government dollars should go to help the MTA in its capital budget. There's nearly nothing more important than we can or should do in Albany than that. What I want to give a lot of credit to is a lot of the leaders on the east side because, you know, residents were very worried and there were many hearings and it was a tough uh, discussion about being supportive of something that when you, you know, you're, it's a long time to finish it. You can follow all of New York City, wherever there's a subway line, there's economic growth for the future and forever. Some argue that we're the business capital of the world. In order to stay the business capital of the world, we have to invest in our infrastructure. The businesses uh, will have more people who will be able to come to them with ease, and I think that that's going to make for even more vibrant and exciting neighborhood uh, than exists today. And getting to that day when people can actually walk down, swipe their uh, metro card, and take the subway to Times Square, West Midtown, that's progress. It's a demonstration that government does work, and I think that that will be a good day for everyone who believes in that basic premise. It unites us, it brings us together, it is the heart and arteries of our great city. If we're not investing in it and making it better, then we're going backwards. And I want to go forwards in the greatest city in the world.